In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today in this Mass, we celebrate this Mass for the repose of the soul of Patrick McLellan, for whom this Mass is offered, asking the good Lord to grant him eternal rest and to protect and bless the family and friends he left behind here on earth to mourn her death. May I ask each and every one of us here this afternoon to add his or own private intentions in this Eucharistic celebration. My dear beloved Reverend, we know that we are sinners, haven't acknowledged this. Let us so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, by your life you have set us free. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, by your love you have made us whole. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, by your death you have brought us life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now, Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Be near, O Lord, to those who plead before you, and look kindly on those who place their hope in your mercy, that cleanse from the stain of their sins. They may persevere in holy living and be made full heirs of your promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Father, your blessing. May the Lord be in your heart and on your days that you may proclaim his gospel worldly and well in the name of the Father, Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, go down at once to your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, for they became depraved. They have soon turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making for themselves a molten calf and worshiping it, sacrificing to do it and crying out, this is your God, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I see how stiff-necked his people is. Let me alone then, that my wrath may blaze up against them to consume them. Then I will make of you a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord, his God, saying, Why, O Lord, would your wrath blaze up against your own people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with such great power and with such a strong hand? Why should the Egyptians say, with evil intent he brought them out, that he might kill them in the mountains and exterminate them from the face of the earth? Let your blazing wrath die down. Relent in punishing your people. Remember your servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and how you swore to them by your own self, saying, I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and all this land that I promised. I will give your descendants as their perpetual heritage. So the Lord relented in the punishment that he had threatened to inflict on his people. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Our response is, remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord. Our fathers made a calf of Horeb and adored a molten image. They exchanged their glory for the image of grass-eating bullock. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as we favor your people. They forgot the God who has saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt, wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things at the Red Sea. Amen. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them, but Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember, Remember us, us, O Lord, Lord as, we as we favor your people. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, 
King of endless glory. <clears throat> Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might have eternal life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, glory to you, O Lord. To you, o Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, If I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is not true. But there is another who testifies on my behalf. I know that the testimony he gives on my behalf is true. You sent emissaries to John, and he testified to the truth. I do not accept human testimony, but I say this so that you may be saved. He was a burning and shining lamp, and for a while you were content to rejoice in his light. But I have testimony greater than John's, the works that the Father gave me to accomplish, these works I will perform testimony, testify to my behalf that the Father has sent me. Moreover, the Father who sent me has testified on my behalf, but you have never heard his voice nor seen his form, and you do not have his word remaining in you, because you do not believe in the one whom he has sent. You search the scriptures because you think you have eternal life through them. Even they testify on my behalf, but you do not want to come to me to have life. I do not accept human praise. Moreover, I know that you do not have the love of God in you. I came in the name of the Father, but you do not accept me. Yet if another comes in his own name, you will accept him. How can you believe when you accept praise for one another and do not seek the praise that comes from only God. Do not think that I will accuse you before the Father, and one who will accuse you is Moses, in whom you have placed your hope. For if you had believed in Moses, you would have believed in me, because he wrote about me. But if you do not believe his writings, how will you believe my words? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Some of the best advice I ever received came from someone much older than me. They said to me, Greg, hang around people who are smarter than you. Their advice has not been hard for me to put into practice, as I know plenty of people who are much smarter than I am. And though my ego may get bruised from time to time, my heart and my mind tell me this is what's best for me. It makes life so much more meaningful. Moses hung around a lot of smart people, the smartest being God. He hung around a lot of depraved people, the most depraved being his brothers and his sisters, that is, the chosen people of God. Today's first reading highlights one of those wilder moments. The Lord said to Moses, go down at once to your people, for they've become depraved. They have turned aside from the way I pointed out to them, making of themselves a molten calf, worshiping it and crying out, this is your God, O Israel, you brought out of the land of Egypt. How could they do this? What was wrong with them? How on earth could they have exchanged their glory for the image of a grass-eating bullock? Unfortunately, the people of God are attempting to equate the meaning of their life to a mere creature, a molten calf made by man. The Jewish people are a complicated people, highly intelligent, highly skilled, and very stiff-necked. Unfortunately, we, the people of America, have many of their qualities. Let's admit it. I'll be the first to admit it. It's easy to forget God. In fact, it's just as easy to forget about God as it is to forget about the sun. But boy, how different our world would be 
if we did not have our little G2 dwarf main sequence star? How different would I be if I did not have my Lord, my Jesus Christ? Let's see. I know. I would not even attempt to try to love my enemies. Never. Absolutely not. Are you kidding? No way. Give me a break. Sure, I would forgive people. Maybe once. Maybe twice. But seven times, 77, always? Forget it. Never. That's not fair. Yeah, I would help others occasionally, and only when I felt like it. And if I ever did feel like it, well, so what? Call me a jerk. What's wrong with that? I do not owe anything to anyone. Life is fair. You get what I mean. Bad genes are bad genes. Good genes, hey, survival of the fittest. And if I ever ended up needing help, I'd go straight to those Christians who help people without asking questions. Hey, no one can tell me what I have to do except for the government, I guess. And who made them God anyway? Now, if I did not end up helping others, then you can be sure they would be just like me. The people who think like me, vote like me. I would never give a hand to my opponent. I could care less about their so-called conversion. Crazy, isn't it? What is my molten calf? If you think it's bizarre to go goo goo gaga over a golden calf, then I hope you also think it's a little weird to adore money and or power and or fame and or sex. Israel attempted to equate the meaning of life with a molten calf. Do you attempt to equate the meaning of life with something similar to that? For example, your children, career, some worthy cause, a blog, etc. What makes life the ultimate if it has no ultimate meaning? Jesus said to the critics, I do not accept human praise. Wow, this is incredible. The Lord does not even live for the applause. He cures because people are sick. He forgives because people are hurting. But if that were it, then it would not be so much. For people get sick and die and fall into temptation over and over again. No, the ultimate reason why Jesus did what he did was because it was the will of the Father. And the will of the Father is that we love one another, even those who do not love us. Christ did not die for us so that we could win the most sacrificial man ever award for 2,000 years straight. He lived and died for us because he loves us. That is, our Father loves us. His sacrifice makes all the ultimate sacrifices worth giving. Prayer of the faithful. Almighty Father, your son destroyed the father of death in order to win salvation for us. We pray you in this time of crisis that he destroys the source of this, the source of this virus, coronavirus, that your people be united once more to give you thanks for your kindness. Our response is have mercy, God, in your kindness. That the church may be a shining lamp leading the world to salvation, we pray. God have mercy, in God, in your kindness that the elect and the candidates may search the scriptures for the one who leads them to life, we pray. Have, Have mercy, mercy, God, in your kindness. kindness. That those who follow the law of Moses may observe God's precepts in faithfulness, we pray. Have, Have mercy, mercy, God, in your kindness. kindness. That the world may forgive fame and celebrity to follow those whose testimony is true, we pray. Have, Have mercy, mercy, God, God in your, your kindness. kindness. That the sick may place their trust in the one who brings life, we pray. Have, Have mercy, mercy, God, in your, your kindness. kindness. That Christ may bring to fullness in us the work that he has sent to accomplish, we pray. 
Have Have mercy, mercy, God, in your your kindness. kindness. For the repose of the soul of Patrick McLellan, we pray. Have mercy, mercy, God, God, in your your kindness. kindness. That the dead may receive life through the one who testifies on their behalf, we pray. Have Have mercy, mercy, God, God, in your your kindness. kindness. For all those who are involved with this pandemic, the doctors, the nurses, the caregivers, the patients that they receive God's healing, the doctors, nurses, and caregivers, ambulance drivers, policemen, firefighters, all those paramedics, all those people who help that they be kept safe. We ask our Lord, we pray, have have mercy, mercy, God, in your kindness, and for our own personal intentions that we mention in the silence of our hearts. We pray. Have mercy, mercy, God, in your kindness. <clears throat> reveal, reveal to us your truth, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, and light the way to salvation. May our remembrance of Christ's passion, death, and resurrection make us ready to be his witnesses through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you, fruit of the eight and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this one we offer you, fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. God, the Father of mercies, I pray to wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sins, that I may be worthy to celebrate this Eucharist. Pray, my beloved brother, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Amen. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these sacrificial offerings, that they may profit our our conversion and the salvation of all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride. Contribute to the feeding of the poor. And so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we are clean. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of holiness. Make holy therefore this grace we pray by sending time your spirit upon them like the day fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, our Lord Jesus Christ himself took bread. Giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. (laughs) 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, <clears throat> and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, this bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the whole world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John Nunnan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Patrick McClellan, whom you have called from this life to yourself. Grant that he, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For For the the kingdom, kingdom, the the power, and the glory are are yours now now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, as you have sent all of us gathered here this afternoon, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us, Let us offer each other the sign of peace. It's a love God be with you. May the commingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring to all of us that receive it eternal life. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world. Lord, by your holy body and blood, free me and my brother assembled here this afternoon from all our sins and evil. Keep us always faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should that you enter, enter under my roof. roof. But I only say the word, and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. Let us pray. Nourished by your seven gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in this present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And uh, Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Presence of the Lord.